Meanwhile, another possible blow to the war on terror, this time coming from the U.S. Supreme Court. Welcome, everybody. I'm Neil Cavuto, and this is your world. On the heels of that New York Times controversy today, the highest court of the land ruling against military tribunals for Gitmo prisoners. President Bush says that he will ask Congress to keep them going. But it does make you wonder, are some enemies laughing at us? A concern by Republican Senator Trent Lott of Mississippi, who joins us now. Senator, what do you think? I think some people are probably laughing at us. This is ridiculous and outrageous. Now, uh, in uh, legal speak, let me say, I have not read the entire opinion nor the dissents. Uh, but preliminary, my, uh, preliminarily, my opinion is they probably didn't even have jurisdiction. Uh, they shouldn't have ruled the way they did. This is not a bunch of pussycats we're talking about here. These are people that have made it clear in many instances uh, that they would kill Americans if they got out. This is Osama bin Laden's driver. Uh, and uh, this is one other example of why the American people uh, have lost faith in so much of our federal judiciary. This is a, a very bad decision, in my opinion. Do you think it forces the president's hand, Senator, that he would have to shut down Gitmo? In his press conference today with the Japanese prime minister, he seemed to indicate no. But what do you think? Uh, I don't think he necessarily has to shut it down right away. He's indicated that uh, in an appropriate way, in the right time, he'd be delighted to shut down Gitmo. Uh, but uh, I don't think that uh, this decision uh, forces that immediately. And by the way, I suspect that Congress uh, may want to take a look at what we want to do in response to this. You know, the, sometimes the Supreme Court thinks they are the final arbiter, but they are not. Uh, the Congress and the voice of the American people have the final say. Well, so what would you do? Well, I want to look at that. I, I don't know. Uh, we, we uh, as a matter of fact, we did in an act back in, 19, in 2005 basically uh, say uh, that uh, the courts didn't have jurisdiction in this area. And I think part of the dissent uh, by the three dissenters uh, went to that effect, that they basically said that the Supreme Court uh, did not have jurisdiction here. So where is this all going, Senator? I mean, we have the New York Times thing that became a big crisis uh, where all of a sudden the financial records and the transactions maybe, uh, you know, underpinning uh, al-Qaeda is released to the public for all to see. You have this now. What's going on? Well, what bothers me is that we are systematically and apparently steadily through some in the news media, certainly not uh, your network, but uh, the New York Times and the L.A. Times and sometime even the Wall Street Journal and others, uh, and other things that are happening in terms of leaks or court rulings, uh, we're taking away our ability to fight the war on terror. Uh, we said that we cannot uh, track uh, these telephone conversations that they have internationally, and now it's been uh, released that uh, we had the ability to trace money. Now they were being said that we can't retain these uh, people in uh, Gu Guantanamo, and the president, uh, they allege, exceeded his authority there. Is there not a pattern here? Uh, you know, we are making our uh, effort uh, to trace, track, and deal with terrorists extremely difficult. I, I can't understand that in view of what we saw on 9-11 and things we've seen all over the world ever since. Do you think these twin events, the New York Times, LA Times, Wall Street Journal release, uh, this development by the Supreme Court today, heightens the possibility of another attack? It could, uh, because... Uh, you know, uh, we are revealing our means and methods uh, in many ways of, of tracking and dealing with these terrorists. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, they obviously might see an opportunity or perhaps they're, you know, angered uh, at what we have done to try to deal with them. It's certainly not positive, but I also think there's another side to this coin, and that is the American people uh, will certainly uh, get the feeling and will understand uh, that uh, a lot of people in our society and in our media and in our court system are undermining our ability uh, to do everything we can to protect and keep Americans free. Senator Trentlot, thank you very much. Thank you, Neil.